All right, everyone. Welcome back to the land of Kev. I am your host and the author. My name is Jeffrey Drum. Thank you all so much for joining me again. All right, everyone, welcome back. This is Sunday Site Visit 41, and today we will explore an absolutely fascinating site that we visited on day one of my expedition to investigate the ancient structures across Ireland, a spectacular relic of the mythological Tua de Danann, the perplexing and mysterious complex called Note. If this is the type of content you're interested in regarding the ancient technology of a lost civilization, and the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from across the world, this is the channel for you. So please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube, and don't forget to click that little notification bell so that you do not miss the new episodes that premiere twice per week. Please like, comment, and stay tuned. If you want to help support the channel, check out the Land of Chem members-only section for exclusive research content and unreleased footage that you will not see anywhere else. Link in the video description below. If you want to pick up a copy of the book or grab some merch, check out thelandofchem.com. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at thelandofchem. Also, don't forget, please go subscribe to our two new channels here on YouTube, Egypt Eats and Egyptian Trash Cats. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for the support. I think that is it for today's intro. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, everyone, here we go with tonight's episode. And to begin. Here are a few gorgeous aerial photos of Noth, so you can see the overall configuration of this chemical manufacturing complex. This one here showing the spectacular Boyne Valley countryside and the Boyne River flowing right next to the structures. Here, looking very much like an Egyptian pyramid situated on the Nile surrounded by its various satellites. And another here that captures what it is like to be at this site. Some of the greenest greens I have ever seen and the energy surrounding these structures was truly staggering. Now this diagram showing the internal configuration of the primary mound here in the center and the surrounding satellite structures with the main mound having a very similar layout to that of Newgrange with the addition of the passage leading out in this direction. And unfortunately, these passageways are inaccessible today, but I will be showing pictures from the interior in a follow-up episode where I discuss the alchemical symbolism encoded in the bewildering glyphs that are carved into the curbstones surrounding the primary mound, which you can see here. And I'll be focusing on three of these engraved stones specifically that really caught my attention. The first of which you can see here. The next one here, known as the sundial stone. And finally, here with all three of these curb stones containing vital information about the operation of these structures and the knowledge possessed by this lost ancient civilization. Now, just a quick reminder, for anyone that's interested in coming to Egypt to see the pyramids for yourself, the 2024 Land of Chem Ancient Alchemy and Ascension Tour is on and bookings are now available. For a taste of what you can expect during this life-changing adventure experience, check out the tour promo video that just dropped last week. And if you want to join, please send me an email to contact at thelandofchem.com with the subject line 2024 Egypt Tour, and I will send you the full tour itinerary and pricing details. Thank you all so much, and I will see you soon here in Egypt. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now without further ado, I hope you enjoy Sunday Site Visit 41 from my expedition to explore this mysterious 
ancient Irish chemical manufacturing complex adjacent to the Boyne River called Noth. All right, everyone, welcome back. And today we begin our expedition across ancient Ireland, starting here with our investigation of the structures that you can see behind me. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are here at Nowth, County Meath, Ireland. And this is a massive complex of stone and earth mound structures. And we're going to take a walk around and enjoy the site. Yalabina. All right, let's go. And Noth is an entire complex of these stone and earth mound structures. And Alexa is going to go here in front of one of these so we can get some perspective on the size of the structure. Take a look at that. And you can see, looking in the entrance here, that there was a passage. Of course, all of this is modern reconstruction and restoration, but there was originally a passage leading into the structure, into the central vaulted chamber. And this is the primary structure here in front of us. And I'll put in some diagrams so you can see the configuration of the entire site at the beginning of the video. And here, so some clarification. This is modern restoration, this retaining wall and the retaining wall behind these stones. But these stones are original to the site and to the structure that are decorated with these perplexing artwork. And for any of you that have heard my interpretation about the curbstone glyphs at Newgrange, what we're looking at here are essentially alchemical symbols and instructions to interpret how these structures once operated. And you can see here an enclosure, reservoir, surrounding the structure. And we're going to take a walk up to the top so that you can see the surrounding landscape. Here's another opening where you can see still see the remains of the original stone and the passage leading into the central chamber. And unfortunately, the passages leading into this mound structure are inaccessible. And here you can see more of the glyphs. Lots of undulating lines and spiral circles. Of course, according to my interpretation and explanation of the Newgrange curbstone, these are to signify the movement of water, the undulating lines. and the circulation of air, these spiral symbols. And before we head up to the platform at the top, I will show you the primary opening into the central passage chamber system. And at the center of each opening, you'll see one of these on both sides, the pillar stone here, which definitely looks like it was originally much taller than it is currently. There's a small depression here 
And this is the primary opening into the structure. And you can see that there are adjacent structures here. Some carved features here. And for those of you that are just joining for the first time, or if you're not familiar with my theory on the function of Newgrange, I believe that these structures were designed to produce a chemical called ferrous sulfate. You can see here a wooden hinge structure, similar to what we saw on our expedition across the megalithic sites of England. And we're going to go up to the top now. So you can see the entire landscape surrounding the monument. which as with all of these structures you can see the next one in the distance and from up here we'll get a great vantage point of the entire site And I will say it is pretty spectacular to be back in Ireland here with Lex from Ancient Odysseys. And we've now reached the top. Yeah, look at that rainbow in the distance. Uh, you guys probably won't be able to see that, but there's a rainbow on the horizon over there. And if you look here in the distance is Newgrange. Right there. Very reminiscent to what we see with all of these ancient structures across England. And of course the same with the Egyptian pyramids. And I'm pretty sure this little plaque over here shows the series of structures. Yep that are visible, Red Mountain, New Grange, which are directly in front of us. Again, there's New Grange right there. And one area of particular interest, the Hill of Tara, which I am extremely excited to explore for the first time. And down here you can see 
the River Boyne, the Boyne River, and all of the marshy areas that surround this structure. Of course, all of the Egyptian pyramids being constructed adjacent to the river. The exact same thing is true here with the ancient megalithic structures of Ireland. They are all constructed along the river. And so now we're going to head down to continue our exploration of the rest of the and they even call them satellite mounds. Exact same terminology that's used to describe the satellite pyramids in Egypt. And so this is our second rainbow that we've seen from a site. It's, it's pretty spectacular. <laughs> Very grateful to have this opportunity And the rainbow is just above this mound here in the distance. Again, very grateful to have the opportunity to share this experience with all of you so that you can see these things for yourself. It is almost an overwhelming experience to be able to explore all of these ancient sites and connect with you know my my ancient Irish DNA <laughs> that originally called me to visit these sites and so we're gonna head back here to the left So we can see the remainder of the site and the second stone pillar almost looks like an obelisk for those of you on the members only channel know what i'm talking about and, you can see and just a quick announcement new land of chem merch is now available i just dropped the nano gold fifth degree logo on a black t-shirt and hoodie, and I'm very excited to present the new spectacular white horse logo on a black hoodie and the premium high definition extra large white horse logo on this exceptional quality black t-shirt. And once again, thank you so much to friend and supporter of the channel, Adam Arrington from New Zealand for collaborating with me on this new logo design. He has done some amazing work in helping me bring my ideas for the Land of Chem logos to life. And if you want to check out more of his work, I'll put a link to his Instagram in the video description below. The Egyptian Blue version of the Land of Chem book and the last 30 or so of the signed first edition purple orchid paper print are still available. So if you want to show some love, just check out thelandofchem.com. And thank you all so much for the support. More of the glyphs and so this stone is what's known as gray whack and any of you who've been following my work know that there's also black gray whack containers inside the pyramid of Winis and the pyramid of Teddy the first in Saqqara A type of sandstone with the stone structures Stonehenge and Avebury also being constructed from a siliceous sandstone material which has a very high content of quartz And 
all across this site they have these indications of water movement and these little channels and ravines and reservoirs that flow into all of these structures. There's a passage leading down into here, a passage leading into this area as well. And we're going to get to see some more of these up close in person. as we travel to the western coast of Ireland to explore Carrow Keel. And also very similar to what we saw at the West Kennet Long Barrow in England. So one of the primary points that hopefully have been revealed in this series of expeditions is that all of these structures are connected all across the world. These ancient people were building similar monuments. So to imply that these are isolated pockets of Neolithic hunter-gatherers is really missing the point. This was a civilization that was absolutely connected, a global group. You can see another one of the satellite structures. Similar configuration here. And during our on-site expedition of Newgrange, I'll do a little bit more thorough explanation of exactly how these structures operated as Newgrange has a curbstone out front that is literally an instruction manual explaining exactly how these systems worked. And I believe this site had the same function as Newgrange. And as we cross around here, See the place where we began the expedition was looking at this mound here and then another one of these pillar stones. And out front here we have a large collection of quartz crystal and dolerite. <laughs> Again, these should look very familiar if they're familiar with the rhetoric of the dolerite pounders in Egypt. Dolerite also, of course, being incorporated in the blue stone from Stonehenge. Of course, that blue stone referring to a variety of different types of stone that were part of the smaller stones in the center of that structure. And it's highly deteriorated now, but this central curb stone here appears also to have been inscribed with alchemical symbols, which is what I think all of these glyphs really represent. 
Again, the archaeologists have never attempted to interpret this other than saying that it's magical symbols or primitive Neolithic art without significance. But I think what we're looking at here is an indication of prehistoric alchemy. And their attempt to describe what was occurring inside of these chambers in a symbolic language that was intended to be communicated to the generations that would rediscover these structures in the distant future. Again, this gray weck, salacious sandstone, An absolutely spectacular sight. And the beginning of our expedition across ancient Ireland. Just getting warmed up. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. This was Sunday Site Visit 41 from Note. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And in the next episode in the series, I will be investigating a perplexing structure known as the Tomb of the Birds and the underground tunnel system that runs below the Giza Plateau. If this is the type of content you're interested in regarding the ancient technology of a lost civilization and the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from across the world, this is the channel for you. So please subscribe to The Land of Chem here on YouTube. Click that little notification bell, like, comment, and stay tuned. If you want to help support the channel, check out the Land of Chem members only section and thelandofchem.com if you want to pick up a copy of the book or grab some merch. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at the Land of Chem. Also, to everyone that is watching this video, I know there's thousands of you that see every single episode. Please go subscribe to our two new channels here on YouTube, Egypt Eats for fantastic food reviews and Egyptian Trash Cats for our adventures caring for our Egyptian street cat family. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for the support. I think that is it for today's episode. So I will see you next time. Yo, are you still watching this? Please subscribe to The Land of Chem here on YouTube and click that little notification button new videos coming out every single week and check out this other episode come on do it do it now